H with the Boulder Smash here. Lines up the shot. Oh, he doesn't. Forgot he couldn't pick the stone. <laughs> he dropped the stone and walked past it, I guess. Didn't get the pick. Yeah, I don't know if they really wanted to commit into a tier one either. So, but yeah, maybe a slight little mistake there from Taka. Nine. Ooh. And tornado. Oh. 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 Beautiful combo. Time. Yeah, this healing ward is actually just keeping them so healthy. Miracle slowed down. Lim's gonna go for it at half HP. They want to actually fight OG, but they're just not quite healthy enough to fully commit here. Now Z-Freak going to be chopped away by Miracle. Jesse, he's up next. Slow down. Sage proc to no escape whatsoever from Hanskin. The Old Scepter just to make sure there's no relocate play at hand. Now they get the kick on the Swindles one by one. Complexity getting chopped down like Cornwood. They get the unstable concoction onto Limp. Swindles may be able to make the escape, but Limp will not. And he just, oh Jesus, now they still have the Omni Slash coming in, the kick, Bill Landle on Swindles, they slow him down. Give him the a Rampage. Oh, Yule Scepter, can they block him? Crit, silence, Swindles, a little bit more, get the, oh, get the physical damage, get the crit. Miracle's got it, the Rampage, underneath the fountain. Storm Spirit. No, because you don't target it, right? It's just it affects everybody in the radius. I haven't played form with tech. Way to take down. But as they make their way back into the high ground, Liquid could be there waiting for him. Oh man. Oh, the tries to walk goal. up, but they get a huge monster pull coming up from SCC. There goes the blast. Can they shrug off the damage? GH is already down along with the dazzle. This could be newbie's time. Lead in. There goes the burrow. Is it gonna be enough? Epi does not seem to get enough damage in there. Omni Slash now, flying out for Miracle. Buybacks come out, GH back in the game now. U9 could be pulled back. SCC gets the double pull, and it's gonna be the takedown of Miracle here, as SCC looks to get the takedown of GH. It could be a dieback here, a very risky one for Liquid. While over on the other side, it's Potoma Man caught deep on the enemy's territory. That four-man electric vortex is a four-man burrow strike. I thought for sure oh my God. that knew we were about to walk into a terrible situation, moving up into the high ground, but he just jumps past all of that and grabs the final run, but the age is still on the chance. I summon the, the forces of nature. Now the Tama Man rotating in. That's the Sprout. They're Two both trapped down. inside. There goes the spring. There goes the CM ulti. And that's going to be the end of both of them. Instantly shredded apart. And now looking for more, KP trying to make an escape, but it's not going to be happening. The Alk fight. Yeah, very under farm support. Eventually, as the game goes on more and more, they're going to be dead weights. Yeah, well, I'm more than going to get lots of Artizi, Artizi though. Artizi, he's going to be fine. He's walking up, walk it off, walk it off. Oh, Link oh. dagger, <laughs> mana burn. Oh, he dodges it. Mana burn again. The spike, oh, the ring around the movie, here comes Sun! He's gonna get the sun up, and I think Arzard is dead. Oh Arzard is dead. Oh, oh, that juice! Uh, the getting the kills. Fucking beautiful. And, and he's forcing out the U9 back. So pretty juicy for him. Now they're gonna head out. Look who's going for a re-engagement now. It's gonna be Liquid already waiting on the high ground! Brilliant setup, but a monster burrow strike comes out from KP as a response, and that's gonna allow them to kind of get the setup as they go for the back line, take out the dazzle right away. Uh, he's got it, yeah. mm -hmm. right. so just bang the end one without buyback, but that's not really too much of an issue. Oh, the Save the Drono. Okay, so you've got the yep, Drono looking for the DK. Death gets put down, but he's actually taking no damage at all here with this armor with the BKB solo. And there's Manny Steve Blade, they've got the snowball as well. Rolling through to save them. Always want to fly. He's going to go down with it. No, he's not going to get saved. Free dead though. Raps is just doing so much on this gyrocopter. Actually, a team wide away. Malefist on the Arcade, so he's not going to be here with them for the fight. GH. He oh, actually, what? 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 Oh my god, alright, that's a little bit of luck. He was going for the blink away in the crush, but then he ended up getting the crush off as the blink was disabled. Gork somehow able to stay alive through that, but <laughs> probably is going to end up dropping nonetheless. Assassinate coming out, damage from afar is not going to be able to find the kill, but guess what? GH is there to finish him off after the fact. Caught alone, maybe not. And he does end up dropping. <laughs> that roll rocket as they step back. Winter Wyvern. He pops his own BKB and now they charge in. Blink in Requiem. Gonna be doing work. Can they finish off Funnick? They sure can. And now as the stacks are gonna be dropped right on above. 
And it looks like they're gonna be zoned back. Art style gonna be easily cleaned up here from Matumba Man as he charges on forward for Habos. Meanwhile, on the other side, you can see Dendi looking to move on in. Nemfi gotta be bursting apart right now. He gets his own mega kill streak. He's looking to clean up the wisp. Meanwhile, Habos getting focused back, gets hit with the rocket. Valix looking to soak up some mana so he can follow on through with some more lockdown. There's the bump on in. Habos could be caught out here. The rocket gonna keck with the cold embrace. Gonna keep him alive for now. They're waiting for him to kind of melt on through. Glimmer Cape, Sakuchi, they move in, they get the grab, Lion goes down, Havost on the run, another rocket's gonna be there, will it catch him from behind? No! Lincoln's is gonna be popped for that, another cold embrace comes up from Sonico, now they want to rid of the dragon, they'll be able to burst him down here, a call down flies through, and Dendi looking to charge on in, gets the cleanup, taking out Buki, and now Matoma Man trying to go for the TP, not gonna be there, gets caught with the split earth, and it's now Navi who come out on top! Alright, I think Sonico just won that fight four times in a row. That was Cold Embrace Glimmer Cape four, four times in a row. He's yeah. do the old spin TP and get himself out mid lane. Might see some kickoff telekinesis onto S4. Oh, 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 here we go. Kuroki setting it up with a song. The cooldown comes out onto them all. They're going to prop the mech, trying to keep themselves alive here. The oh, stolen oh. soul from a low heart dance, saving the side of Empire, enabling them to get themselves Radiance back out to the time. high ground. Radiance it looks like Always Wanna Fly might be the only one to drop here. But that. Lin is on the hunt. He's got an arcane rune ready to go with the Shadow Blade. About to run into some heroes. Kind of where it gets laid uh -oh. down, but he managed to get the two-man stun. Tosses the Shadow Demon to his death into HFN. Tavo desperately trying to save HFN here with the Dark Rift, but it's going to be close. He tosses oh, him out of Lim. Him. Oh my god, what a play from Lim. That was sick. That was clutch. Ah, oh, Lim Tiny, man. It's been too long since we saw this majestic performance. Templar Assassin. between everything. The only upside is the fact that it's only a Lunar and a TA. Yeah, the downside is, it's the Lunar and the TA. They're still alive for further throw. Two AUI tries to be a man, but it's just not manly enough. Too many rampages, and MP will lose their first game to Virtus Pro 2. This guy is in the area, and actually, he's going to TP ah. back home, so they won't be able to get here in time to defend it. And mid one, actually, is going to be the person that they find going oh. over to try and get a rune face just, he's but got he Yules. couldn't actually get it. Well, Yule Scepter lift up as well. He does have a blink. Oh, broken again. He's in a lot of trouble here, and he is going to be able to make it out for the moment. Oh, but the swap, swap trying to get out of there. They are not going to be able to quite catch up. One. Oh, that was so sick. Houdini <laughs> himself. Right after the swap, he got the shot. That was so sick. Going to need a beautiful initiation. Sentinel War Chief. Win this fight. Uh, Rolo Roches, both teams will be... Very tempted to go for that one. There's Scout that Roche is not being currently done, but because of that Sunstrike, C9 can actually go back in. They know there's no Sunstrike now, and this Dire Ward does not see these heroes, so... Good smoke use to get back into the pit. Ward Spirit will scout this one a little bit late. Oh, oh but they jump in! Oh my god, the Ace is still in the deck. Ferret managed to grab it. Now here comes the Meteor with the deafening blast. Ace and heads to Joe. Almost get blown up. There is a save from Baby9. Ace is going to come back soon. Grab is still in the pit. Can anyone threaten Ace? He's in the back lines. Hero and Fada just charge in. Managed to finish him off. Noya is also going to go down. And Baby9, he needs to get out of here. He can't save anybody Lodo anymore. Loda, Rod, he's got the Wind Ace Ranger at your now service. He's to get out. Got Urn on him. Coming in from the back lines. They will find Hanskin though. He's gonna go down. He was looking for more. Well, they want the bears. Jackal off. shot. Jackal. What a shackle from Anna. He gets it. Can they bring Loda down? They've got the damage. The X marks his back. They kill him. Oh, Death for 110 and 103 seconds for Lemp on the gyrocopter. Three down. 
and all they have to do is push mid. That was a filthy check. Oh, that, <laughs> that was dirty. Really has to bail out his racks are more important. They go in, they just blow hey, up. Oh, that like kill it's right back tower. immediately. This is the Hail Mary play right Radiant's here. You've got Tazkin trying to do what he can. Attack. Looking for a nice little weave there. They are able to go through, get a stun onto Ob, and they go for the poison touch, but a triple man dream coil. It's looking nice for Puck. Let's simply go through his blink, and he gets off. It's a nice little fold, but Abed, he's getting low. He's got the ages of turning things onto Lim. There's nothing he can do about it. And then the Requiem comes out. The Rabbit to finish everyone off. Everyone's dropping down to the grave. There's going to be no buyback on the Ember Spirit. No buyback on the Shadow Feed. This could be it. The Racks are under attack. Meepo is still up. Still fighting. Still has an Aegis. They're looking for everything they can possibly get. Swindled. There's going to be no Epi for him. Nice. Blink Strike coming back in. But oh gosh, they're going. They're looking for something here. And it's an ultra kill from Abed. Get the Rampage.